grab that umbrella and raincoat as you head out the door. There are showers on the way, and we've got more muggy weather again ahead of the shower activity. 74 degrees at the Allen County Airport, 74 in Delphi, 73 over in Wapak, and 74 down in Kenton. Of course, dew points above 65. It's plenty humid out there. 73 in uh, Van Wert, 73 in uh, Lima, 69 in Bluffton, and those dew points will continue to go up as we see a clash of the warm, moist, humid air with a cold front. There's a shower and thunderstorm activity to the north of us. That's the frontal system that's going to be moving in to give us some showers and thunderstorms. Most of our shower and thunderstorm activity won't come until this afternoon and throughout the evening. So as we zoom in closer for this morning, we have plenty of clouds earlier. A few showers move through Hancock County and into Upper Sandusky overnight, but now we're beginning to see some clearing. The winds are calm and we could see some stronger gusty winds and some uh, strong storms as we move through the afternoon. So let's play in our, our day. 77 at 9 o'clock, mostly cloudy, mostly cloudy still at noon, 84, 86 by 3 o'clock, and we should be seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the area. So our average high is 83 and 62 is the low. We're going to be above that today, but in our extended forecast, we've got very comfortable temperatures that are average and below. So we do have the slight risk of some heavy showers and thunderstorms with some damaging winds and strong storms. Marginal risk by the green, a great, little bit greater risk, a slight risk by the yellow. So just be weather aware today as we see those storms moving through. As this low and cold front that will be passing on through, we'll start to see most of the shower activity by this afternoon. But by tomorrow, it's to the south of us, and we'll begin to see the skies clear up. High pressure ridge moves in. This high is from Canada. Cooler, drier air, less humidity. Just some beautiful weather as it continues to dominate Thursday and even into the weekend. And next week, we're seeing nice dry weather. So let's time out some when some of the storms will be coming in with predictor here. You can see uh, around early afternoon, the northern part of the viewing area is seeing some showers, but by around 2.33, they're beginning to bubble up. Some of them indicated by reds and oranges, of course, could be some heavy downpours. Moving throughout the area in the afternoon, the early evening, throughout the evening hours, and by uh, around 10.30, 11 o'clock, the scattered showers will be moving on out, and by tomorrow morning, we'll begin to see the clearing already. So it's just a storm system moving through for today. How much rain, especially if you get caught by some of those heavier storms, you could get over an inch, but in general, three quarters to an inch of rain throughout the area, a little bit less, like in Defiance is predicted there. So we will be seeing some significant shower activity for those gardens and for your flowers moving through the area. 87 the high. We'll see a little sunshine. It's going to be humid. Feels like temperature around 95 and afternoon showers and storms. Tonight, 64 the low. Showers and thunderstorms are likely to move through the evening. Tomorrow, 77 the high, becoming mostly sunny. It'll be less humid and a little bit breezy with those winds out of the northeast. And then look at that seven-day extended forecast. Lots of sunshine, less humidity, very comfortable temperatures in the 70s. We see lows in the 50s, so maybe we can give the air conditioner a little bit of a break over the weekend, especially as highs around 75 to 76 degrees. So just some beautiful weather after we get through the showers and thunderstorms yes. today. Tomorrow looks marvelous. 77 degrees. I've got never some thought good it weather. Would, it almost brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's of sweat down my brow. Yeah, really. All right. Well, still to come on First Edition is Trivia Tuesday time. Another special guest has the questions. And it's back to school time in the entire household.